along with me during a work week as a journalist at a local newspaper. Your work day as a journalist in a local newspaper can be super varied. You often have to do a little bit of everything. Today I'm writing about business, theater, martial arts, and a clothes swap event. Today was press day, which means working towards an unforgiving deadline. When you work with print, you need to finish writing in time for everything to make it into the paper. And sometimes I forget to eat lunch. The day consisted of interviews, writing articles, and waiting for the rain to stop so I could pop outside for a quick photo. Even though my brain often feels like a deflating balloon post deadline, there is no break. I have a long interview to write, and with a busy week ahead of me, I need to get as much as possible done today. Time to cozy up with some coffee. It's Tuesday! Another day, another destiny. Let's pretend I had time to iron my shirt. Today I had an interview with a scientist who got a PhD, and I had to do a little research to not feel stupid lol. I also have a long interview to transcribe, and luckily I got some fun jokes in there that I can laugh at again. The best part of my job is all the wonderful people I get to meet. Also, when I write, I usually listen to instrumental music, and you can tell what I've been listening to lately. Let's go home and have dinner before heading out to a concert with two of Norway's biggest musicians. That's life as a journalist. There's late nights sometimes. It's Wednesday! I'm already tired, and today is gonna be a day. After doing some work at the office, I went out to a different island to an event at a fish farming company. As a journalist, you get to do so many different things, and today I learned new things about the fish farming industry. Then I got the ferry back to my island and enjoyed some autumn sun. Yeah, did I mention this was recorded in October? Lol. <laughs> and I walked home in some nice weather. After having dinner, I went to a lecture about female polar heroes, which was interesting. I had to write my article about it that night, as the next day it was press day, and I was going to Oslo. After a 5 a.m. start, I had breakfast at the second airport of the day, and one flight later, I arrived in Oslo and made my way to the conference center. I attended a day packed full of journalism tips for local newspapers, and it's so nice to get some input and meet other journalists from small papers. It's also nice to get away every now and then, even though this was just for the day. I got home late. So that Friday, I definitely needed to caffeinate. The day was an office day, though, so it mainly consisted of writing and going through the science interview the person had read through. Sometimes people want to read their interviews before we publish them, especially if the topic involves someone else or something they've received funding for. And then it was time to walk home in the sun. I wasn't actually working that weekend, but I went to the clothes swap event on the Saturday. Sometimes it's hard to separate work and leisure, and I often end up snapping some pictures and writing about events I attend even in my free time. I love that people put on events, and I really think they deserve attention from the paper if possible. But let me just emphasize that this is not a regular work week at all. It was a particularly busy one. Working as a journalist doesn't mean you're always exhausted and have no free time, and I love my job.